let's understand how we can debug record trigger flow so in my previous video i demonstrated you how we can create a related opportunity on account creation so if i open the configuration of the record trigger flow so you can see object as account trigger the flow when a record is created condition is like active equals yes and uh, optimize the flow for actions and related records so these are the configurations and uh, this is the element uh, that is create opportunity element so here you can see account name close date then stays uh, pick list value and uh, account id are set uh, to these respective fields so if you have created a record trigger flow and uh, before activating that flow if you want to debug so that is quite easy so you just need to click on this debug button so it is asking like uh, if you haven't done any changes so you can save so uh, what i can do i can just click on save as so that a new version will be created so you can see now it is not activated and if flow is not activated so it won't work if you do some uh, changes on the ui right but the requirement is we don't want to change uh, we don't want to activate the flow and we want to check it from uh, this flow builder only so you just need to click on this debug button so here you can see uh, you have the option path for debug run so uh, we only selected run immediately so that's why one path is available if you create scheduled paths in your uh, record trigger flow then that option will be available here now debug options like in in our record trigger flow we have a entry criteria so if you want to skip that so you can enable this checkbox so it will debug like your entry criteria will be missed and it will be tested right you can read this help text as well runs the flow even if the record selected for the debug run doesn't meet the condition requirements that are specified in the start element so i am unchecking it as of now then run flow as another user so this option is disabled in your orgs process automation setting so we need to enable this option if you want to run your flow as another user so right now it will be running uh, through the logged in user then run flow in rollback mode so it is by default enabled so it says runs the flow without permanently changing the data in your salesforce records any database changes that the interview makes are rolled back once it ends record triggered flows always run in the rollback mode right so we can't control this it is by default selected now at the bottom you can see triggering record that we can select so for the debug run we trigger the flow as if this record is created updated or deleted right so i am selecting this one as if it is uh, created because our flow is configured for creation only so now flow will be debug like this account is created and then the elements which i used in the flow will be tested whether they are working fine or not so i'm clicking on run and you will see the step by step results so here you can see uh, this yellow line is available which is uh, like starting from the start and then going to create opportunity record and then to end and we we don't see any error messages available here so here you can see uh, this is basic debug log right if you click here so you can select these options as well like show api name show governor limits consumption show transaction boundaries so if you want to see you can enable these check boxes if you want to expand all in one go so you can uh, click on this button so you can see everything is expanded if you want to expand them one by one so you can click you can read the information here like uh, the record id is available so in my previous video i told you uh, for which record this flow is triggered so that record id will be available in this global variable that is dollar record then start condition so it is checking like active yes equals yes so if active is equals to yes then it is true then here you can see uh, create record element so account id close date name stage name everything is set with the values and uh, a record is ready to be created when the next screen 
pause or local action is executed or when the interview finishes. So this is the opportunity record that will be created, but the rollback option was selected by default. So you can see it is saying because the flow ran in rollback mode, any changes to add, delete or modify records were rolled back. Okay, so these changes you won't uh, experience in the UI. If you run your record trigger flow in the debug mode, then it is how interview finished, right? So uh, these are the information. Now, uh, knowingly, I'm going to uh, do some changes in the flow so that it fails, right? So uh, till now, I showed you like how we can debug the record trigger flow. Now I'm going to show you like what happens if uh, this record trigger flow fails in the uh, debugging. So I am just removing this because stays is required field and I just uh, deleted that row so that it will throw an error. So I'm just saving it, clicking on debug, selecting the record and clicking on run. So here you can see. This time yellow line ends here and uh, here you can see warning or error message and this is gray in color. So it means your record trigger flow uh, stopped here only. At top you can see failed message available and wherever it is uh, failing so that is showing the message as well. So this error occurred when the flow tried to create records, required field missing, required fields are missing that is stage name. So this way uh, you will receive the information. Okay, so if you enable these checkboxes, so you will see uh, some more information if you expand all. So here you can see element, governor limit consumption. Then, yeah, this is the additional information that we got from here. So if you enable these checkboxes, so you receive some additional information as well. Right. So this way I showed you like if your flow is not working properly in debugging. So how you can uh, check the errors and accordingly you can modify the flow. So the benefit of debugging the flow before activation is like if your flow is failing for some reason. So you can modify that and again you can debug and test. If it is running fine, then you can activate and uh, you can test it with the org data.